At 52 years old, I'm returning to Wudong for the second time to learn more Kung Fu and learn about Taoism. I've really been looking forward to making this video that I'm uploading today. You know, I've been here training really hard for uh, a couple of weeks now, uh, learning as much as I can. Uh, but also one of my big goals was to try to learn more about Taoism and how to apply it to Kung Fu training and apply it to my life. So when I'm here I try to have some conversations whenever I can with Master Yuan. And this time he let me film a one-on-one -on -one conversation I was having with him to talk about these things and we talk a lot about um, how the Tao can improve your Kung Fu training and it also relates back to me and my training uh, the stage of life that I'm kind of entering into my injuries and that kind of thing but I think young or old or no matter what kind of martial arts you practice I think there's a lot of really good advice in here to help you improve what you're doing every day Yeah, one of my um, big goals coming here uh, this time was to not only learn uh, some more Kung Fu, but also um, also to learn some more about Taoism. What do you think is sort of one thing that somebody who's practicing Kung Fu should do that, that's a Taoist practice that would really help their Kung Fu uh, be better? Uh, because I have been practicing so many years. Yeah. And I also teaching. Mm -hmm. I've been teaching so many years. Uh, uh, teach students come from all over the world. Yeah. And a different age. So different ages, like kids, children, like you know, and old yeah. people. So I think the dust training, the dust wushu is different is because they are um, training for saving we call we call it. And, uh, cultivating yeah yeah that's one thing I feel when I'm here yes. yeah important mm -hmm. so a lot of people the training is just for using mm. you know for them for the old people the training and they are not going to really be uh, a fighter or something to, yeah. to use it yeah so if you spend much time to use your muscle to do some uh, uh, powers and a force strength mm. training yeah and make your muscle more tight Right. And actually, this, the people come to practice, all the beginners, they are very stiff. Mm. And if you use the muscle and too tight, and, uh, they, they get more stiff. Right. And uh, easy to get tired and injured, you know, they sometimes they damage a lot. Yeah. It's because we, we said the training for saving, training for using. So you have to. And, uh, make sure which which way which step you want to keep going right you know for my opinion i think it's like a, uh, most people come here is just for for health mm -hmm. you know they improve the health yeah so talk about a lot about talk a lot of body the chi uh, mm -hmm. you know and the dog's training say if you want improve your health so you need first to change your physical body right not just the beginning you come talk about internal mm. this is complicated right simple things make it more complicated mm. so say Tao, Tao is like a simple Tao everywhere everywhere mm. so if you're training so you need to change your body return to baby body first. right so you start from the outside and then before going yes to the so training 
the physical body, mm. we have a lot of method, yeah. a lot of way to help mm -hmm. to make you become flexible. Right. And after you're flexible, your emotion, your organs, meridians, everything, they changed. Mm. Because the organ relax and they're happy. Yeah. It's like a, your organ is working a lot inside. You know? Right. They're like a, your employees. Yeah, okay, yeah. And they need to relax. You need it. Yeah. For example, you go to, to work every day, you know, 10 hours every yeah. day without sleep, without uh, rest, yeah. holiday. You get tired, you lost too. And the organs is set. They get tired. They, yeah, then they can't work. They get tired. Yeah. So you need to like, relax. Okay. So you're training from outside your physical body to inside. So this is the first. Then when your body relax, soft, you know, and very smooth and flexible, flexible then your emotion getting smooth. Mm. Your thoughts getting more clear. Right. And uh, your heart, your shen is getting more quiet. Uh, okay. Then the next step is your mind become baby mind. And they call physical body, you can say yang. Mind like yin, or maybe mind like yang. Mm -hmm. Physical body like yin, this is yin yang balance. Yeah. So you're training your body return to baby body. This is possible. Everybody can do it. It's just the training, the way different, the method different. So that's why I told you, I say your training, you should change it. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of damage in your body. Yeah, that's true. My old Shifu, he always wanted me to, he always said, David, more, more speed, more power, more speed, more power. And everything was always fighting. Like, um, it doesn't, that doesn't <laughs> mean you have to be really, really tight. Yeah, yeah. Punch. <laughs> We don't use the muscle. Mm. We just you just use the you know the tendon. Yeah. And uh, use the tendon to throw the and uh, the energy, the chi mm. to the tendon to work better, more smooth. Right. You know, it's not just like a, like a tight yeah. punch and make the muscle always tight. Yeah. The nerves always tight, and uh, you spend much more oxygen. Right. You're getting faster, you spend more. And uh, time, more energy to training, mm. then you you hold your breath, and you lost oxygen. Yeah, you lost oxygen. You're getting less oxygen, with in the training, then you damage your body. You go, we need more oxygen. Then you do the opposite way. Right. You training, you're getting less oxygen. Mm. So this doesn't make any sense. Yeah, yeah. That's why training you less oxygen, muscle more tight. People are getting tired, right? And that's why they really afraid about training. Mm. And the training, other way, they push themselves training. Other way, inside something against. Uh, tired. I don't want training. Then I have to train. So they fight a lot, right? And this is really make you you lost. Yeah. So you have to train the people. They like it. I like the training. Mm. You know, I'm enjoying the training. Right. You know, so how you train it? Yeah, then you want to do. So I, for my advertise, I, I, my advice. So I train the student. I always make them become soft first. Mm. I have a lot of way to teach the people how to relax it, how to 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 do the form, to do the form, old form, smooth. So it doesn't matter what kind of form. I just use this kind of way to change you. Right. Then the first, you change your body, your physical body. You can see, you can feel it, and the people also can see you improve, and you build your, build yourself more confidence. Yeah. Ah, yes, yeah. I'm improved. You know, my body is more young. Right. More soft. Mm. Then you have more confidence. You like it. Yeah. Then every training, every class, you feel you enjoy it. Mm. So enjoying it, you have a good emotion. You're very happy emotion. And they call energy. Right. They call a pure energy. Mm. You don't have against. The pure energy makes you very happy. Then your mind will stop. The mm. monkey mind, the monkey will come back. Right. You know. So this is important, you know. You have to know the the, the dust training. This poor some 
philosophy, yin yang. Mm -hmm. So Taoist, Taoist philosophy is yin yang. And they say the, the smart people, the smart people always searching Tao, searching the yin yang, mm -hmm. to study the yin yang, reading book, watching video, to walk around, to searching, you know, searching. Where is the, the best Kung Fu? Right. Where is the best master? You know, where is the best Kung Fu? So where is the best Qigong? Mm. A lot of people are just searching. I read a book, all the information from mobile, from a computer, everywhere. But nobody find the best Kung Fu. Nobody find the best master. They have no best master, no best, perfect, you know. Nothing is perfect. So, Perfect is you, because you understand this is perfect. For example, you learn from me. I'm not the best uh, uh, master, not the best kung fu, but I can let you understand. Then you understand. You like my way, my method, my training. You know, you like it. You enjoy it. This is the best. Mm, yeah. Yeah, that's matter. what. That's why I come back. Yeah. <laughs> I, I told enjoy. you. I promised you the big, the first when you came. I yeah. said I will change your body. Mm -hmm. Then no, it's just short term. You change. Yeah. You completely change your body already. This year it's amazing. You know, I have so many problems with my knees. This year my knees feel so much stronger. Mm. Um, I didn't really complain to Ming Chao about my last year. I was like, oh, my, Ming Chao, my knees, my knees. I mean, I know I hurt my shoulder. That's a, a that problem will go away, but. Like um, when we're doing the stretching in the Jiben Gong stretching, it's so much easier for me this year. And I think partly is um, I kept doing that stretching in Canada. So mm -hmm. every morning, um, every morning I trained two to three hours. And so I started using your way um, where I start with stretching, then I do some, some kicks, some punches. Um, and then after that, then I start training forms. And yeah, I really feel much different this year. Any forms, okay. Mm. I told you, any form. Yeah. When you understand. Furthermore, now I learn, uh, before I learned, sorry, mm. Kung Fu Wushu, I can, any form, I learn it. I can make my own step. Yeah. I use the way to do it. Mm. So, so any form, the same. So that's kind of like you know? finding the Tao, but in your own form, I guess, yeah. right? You use muscle, yeah. you use your tendon. Yeah. You know, muscle yeah. is very tight. Yeah. You know, but they use the tendon soft. Not soft still, but only a moment. Oh, okay. Yeah. Soft. So yeah, you try so it more like that. Very tight, maybe your fist very tight. Yeah. Like the muscle soft. Mm. You know. Yeah, and this so. year I've been training, trying to use my, my body. Mm. So when I punch, because my I, I can tell my shoulder is hurting if I use my muscle then my shoulders like oh. but if I use my body mm -hmm. and just then I, my body makes my arm go out and then, this is the, then this, my shoulder doesn't hurt this, this is like a yeah like a stretching yeah a stretching to fix the, the old injuries yeah so yeah because when you relax move relax to move it mm. all the blood and energies to like a like a like a inner like an inner massage oh yeah 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 you know yeah by yourself right yeah people it maybe just go to massage people help you to massage mm. and they still maybe doesn't uh, smooth yeah doesn't and uh, open to complete it. Mm -hmm. only you fix it change it yeah they always circulation always so, so smart people are always searching, you know, they never and uh, to really uh, control mm -hmm. the balance. So they say the wise people control the balance. They understand they control the balance. They understand, for example, this one, and this is a stick. Yeah. And uh, this is a balance. Yeah. You know, and this one stay here, this one stay here, two person. If he go this side, so you have to go the side yeah. too, mm. you follow. Yeah. If you don't, you go another side and you will fall down. You know, so this is balance. So wise people so always, they, have, they know how to follow, mm. accept. Yeah. And what do you do? 
you cannot change. Yeah. You cannot control me because I'm this side, you're another side. Mm. If you want to su survive, you pose this cliff, this cliff, if yeah. you want to survive, <laughs> you have to follow each other. Mm. You have to accept each other. Right. Even if he did something wrong, he don't follow the discipline, they go, yeah. and you have to follow. For balance. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So wise people is always control. You don't depend on someone else. Then you will die. Yeah. You will fall down. Mm. So this is a thought is simple. Mm. It will. So you with your family, you with your boss, with your friends. You cannot always depend on, depend on someone. I want you to be my friend. And this is sound really weird. If you don't want to be my friend, so how? Yeah. I use my force, I use my way to push you. You have to be my friend. Mm. And you afraid of me. <laughs> yeah, okay, you be my friend, but yeah. you are not from your heart. Yeah. You're it's just, just pretending. Yeah. This is not real. Mm. If I did my best, I let you like me. You know, then you be my friend. The purpose is the same. The purpose is the same. Yeah. I won't be friend. We we will be good friend. The same purpose. But in a way different. I say you have to be my friend. Yeah, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Mm. So we should train it the same. You understand? I won't change my body. That I follow the display, follow the way. Mm -hmm. You know, I will success, you know. If you do opposite the way, you never can get this, you know, the aim. Yeah. So. Yeah, I think when I'm injuring myself, I think that's when I'm not following the way I'm... Yeah, this is because before you train, you, you, you miss the part. Yeah. You miss the part. Yeah. It's because you always try to do, you know, the muscle. Yeah. Training. Yeah, my shifu, speed power, speed power. <laughs> speed power, yeah, yeah, you can do speed power, but it's not now. It's yeah. Later. Yeah. When you smooth, when you soft, mm -hmm. flexible enough. Yeah. And you do whatever. But no, not. Mm. So for the beginner, for someone come to me first, they change your body to be flexible. The emotion, mind, everything become flexible. Yeah. Accept. You can forget. Then you become. They say, Tao say, this is a pure, pure energy. So what? Real man. They call real man. Real man means Zen Zen. I mean, this is this 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 person is really, you know, and. Uh, Flexible, okay. Mm. You know everything there, smooth. Mm -hmm. Look, then you like to be, you like to be with him. Yeah, yeah. Then second, I train you to be more and uh, uh, stronger, mm. stronger. And after, make you soft again right. and strong again. Ah, and okay. There, then finally, there, good combination. Okay, yeah. Then you will never stick. Yeah, never. Yeah, no. and then I guess that's balance also. Even you, you when you were eighty, you, know, you still can do flex. It's mm -hmm. good. It's because you understand you know, how important to keep your body flexible. Yeah, baby body. So should I still do, um, or even other martial artists uh, in Canada still do sort of hard flexibility training? So like push hard or do splits? Is that stretching? Stretching is necessary. Yeah, but the stretching they have method, they have way. You know, you find the wrong, wrong. You do the wrong way, mm -hmm. you cannot improve a lot. You cannot improve. Yeah, completely. If you find the right way, they improve easy. So the way that we do it here, when we do the Jiban Gong, that I, I should continue that way. You think? Yeah, you yeah. continue, continue. Mm -hmm. The all the basic training is the more the the purpose is because for stretching. Yeah, and for the basics, stretching mostly stretching. Yeah, and the stretching body work for mm. just for making the body become flexible. Right. Again, yeah, flexible. Then you can be softer. Yeah. And Jake was saying that um, the best time for stretching is in the summer. Um, yes. And so that's when I should do more stretching, I guess, summer. in the summer. Summer because it's hot, it's yeah. sweating. Mm. When you're breathing hard, they are more soft, your tendon, right. joints. Yeah, more, yeah. more soft, more flexible. You're stretching, it's good. Time. Mm. Wind is cold, yeah. tight. Right, yeah. And, uh, it's for the beginners, it's easy to 
to tear or something. Try, try, try to help too much. Yeah. Too strong, maybe that hurts. Yeah. Damage because the tendon, mm. you know, it can hurt. Yeah. And they have to be careful. Yeah. The summer is easier. Summer, in every time, any time they are sweating, mm. body is warm. So this is for beginner, for stiff people. Yeah. Easier. It's much easier. Yeah, my old Shifu, he told me, you know, David, take a hot bath and then get out of the bath and then do splits and then go back in the hot bath and then get out of the bath and then do splits. Ah. <laughs> yeah. I use hot water? Yeah, like hot water. Go in hot water. Sit, he said, sit in hot water five minutes, get out, do splits. <laughs> and actually, you don't need <laughs> it. Is to go warm up is from inside Yeah, yeah. To outside. <laughs> It's not from outside to inside. Yeah, yeah. You just hear from a body. <laughs> yeah. Like a body start mm. steam. You know, yeah. And make you like oil. Yeah. Body from inside, they're hot. Yeah, yeah. And make a uh, steam. Yeah, yeah. You know, like a water, for example, the water, you put a fire here, mm. the steam go. Yeah, up. yeah. And the steam, like oil, we call medicine. Right. The oil go to your body, then they're. Uh, and nutrients like oil, like nutrients, go to your joints, your tendon, everything, and it become more soft. Yeah. And you're easy for stretching. Mm. It's not, yeah. in the, <laughs> not from the outside. Yeah. Yeah. For my uh, uh, opinion, I think uh, for the old people training, stiff people training, I mm. think uh, warm from inside. Yeah. You need your own oil. Mm. No oil, you, 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 you cannot stretch really good. You cannot do the split. Yeah. yeah you need to. So. so that's why you train and train slow move and then make it inside really steam, really hot. Oh, and okay. Then you become soft. Mm. And after you training sometimes, maybe form, doing some basic training, you sweat. And because this is really hot, complete from inside to out. Now right. you can do split. Oh, so it's a good time to do extra yes. after you train. extra stretching after training. Well, after you really sweat and you oh, really okay. warm, warm up. Yeah, enough, yeah. You know, complete from in, inside to outside. Yeah. Now you do some splits, some stretching. This is good. So it's good then just to do like a little bit of stretching in the beginning yeah. before training just to avoid injury and then do more stretching after your whole body's warmed up. The beginning warm up stretching is just to, to protect you oh, yeah. not from the training you get hurt. Right, okay. After the training become really hard, really sweating, uh, okay. to split. Uh, this is really stretching, really split. Yeah. So when I'm training here, maybe after the training session, I should go to my room and then do stretching by yeah, myself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay, I'll, next well, time when I come you, when, you, when you really press your frame, you press your tattoo, um, yeah. Then you do split. Yeah. Then you do again, you do split. Okay. So you separate many times. Yeah, yeah. I do split for resting. Oh, okay. Then I do that all again. Right. To form again and yeah. do split for rest. Oh, so you okay. rest is not just you see there, you rest. Yeah, yeah. You do split, the stretch, and also rest. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Then you do the form again, then mm. you stretch again. Okay. And this is good. Yeah. But sometimes I'll meet people that say, oh, when you're doing martial arts, if it's not fighting, then there's no point. You should not even do <laughs> do it. Yeah, you you come to training, is just need to improve your health. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be a fighter, for example. Yeah. Okay. So why you follow people mind? Yeah, yeah. To change your idea. Yeah. Change your mind. People <laughs> can say that. If like my students, yeah, oh, yeah. you cannot fight. Yeah. If you want to fight, they have another way training. Mm. Okay. Another way training. They have another fighting club, boxing club. Yeah. You can go there to learn training, everyday fighting. Yeah. So you you don't you, you, you cannot teach all of the people who who you know come to you just to you to learn it. Yeah, yeah. What whatever yeah. wherever they, they just whatever they choose, mm -hmm. whatever they like, yeah. Wherever they choose to go to, to learn, mm -hmm. you know, it doesn't matter. I just keep my way. Yeah. Who like my way, I will help you. Yeah. You know, doesn't yeah. matter what people say. Mm -hmm. If they say something hurts you, mm -hmm. and you change your mind. Mm -hmm. oh, I will, would learn. <laughs> I learn the, the 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 fighting fighting skill. Yeah, yeah. I teach you the fighter. Then you change yourself. Mm -hmm. This is not your uh, a purpose. Yeah, it's not beginning. your way. Yeah. So you have to always keep your uh, way, your lifestyle. Your training style. You need this way to improve it. Mm. 
mm-hmm. then you have enough experience to help people who will like it, mm-hmm. like you will train. Yeah. This is enough. Mm. This is enough. And actually, they are not a contradiction. Mm-hmm. You learn uh, fighting to be a good fighter, then also you can learn my way. Mm. I can help you to more flexible. Yeah. So you can help the students here for a fight. So mm-hmm. this is a good combination. Why yeah. fight each other? Yeah, it doesn't have to be a problem. They call yin yang. This is yin yang balance. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. You say, oh, you, 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 your wushu cannot fight. It's like a dance. Yes, yes. that's yeah. also beautiful. Yeah. Well, this was a really valuable conversation for me with Master Yuan. It gives me a lot to think about, and I hope it gives you a lot to think about too. You know, I have to kind of come to terms with how my practice and how my training uh, could and should change after training so many years with Pen Ching Fu um, to always be focused on you know fighting and speed and uh, and application and that type of thing. Uh, but understanding also that I'm kind of entering into a different time in my life, and maybe my goals and my focus is changing a little bit. So I've realized I don't ever have to give up the valuable training and valuable lessons that I learned in the past, but I can take what I'm learning in Wudong and apply it to my practice so that I can do everything for much longer. And as he was mentioning, you know, uh, clever people, smart people, they search for the Tao uh, by doing research, research through the kind of media that we have available now, books, magazines, uh, all through the internet and so on. So that's their way of kind of searching out uh, you know, what is, what is their meaning. But he's saying a wise person actually kind of looks beyond that and just kind of finds the experiences that allow them to see the Tao. And it really applies to martial arts, as he's saying here, too. So you really need to find the martial art, find the kind of practice that really kind of means something to you. And it could be um, MMA training. It could be Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. It could be karate. It could be Taekwondo. It could be any one of the myriad of different kinds of uh, sort of traditional or more modern Kung Fu that are out there. It could be Tai Chi. But once you find something that really kind of means something to you, you'll really know it, you'll kind of feel it, you'll experience it, and you'll see that it's making a difference and a positive change in your life. And that, that really is finding the Tao.